In this next lesson, we're going to look at a group of construction tools called primitives. Now, if you look over here, there is a create cylinder and there is a pull down. These are the primitives. You have create cylinder, cone, block, sphere, and torus. These are the basic building blocks of all parts. They're very easy to use and it allows you to construct something very quickly. So let's just take a simple rectangle. Let's select create block. It wants a base point. Well, I'm going to right click, go to an isometric view, and for my base point, I'm just going to hit O for the origin. And then I'm going to move out in this direction, moving X plus and Y minus, and give it a click. And once I do that, it wants me to pick the height of this block. And I want this block to go down in Z, so I'll click something right there. So there's a block. Now, I just sketched some random points, but now I can come in here and say, I want this block to be 6 inches by 4 inches by 2 inches high. Actually, I want that minus 2 inches. Also, when I'm creating these primitives, I can create this as surfaces or as a single solid model. In most cases, it's preferable to use the solid models. So let's OK that, and now we have a block. Let's take a look at another primitive. I'm going to go to the pull down, and we'll say create cylinder. Now when I created this block, it put a point at the center. So I'll say create cylinder, and we'll say the base point for this cylinder is going to be that point at the center of the block. Now I can move out to set the radius, click, and now I can move up to set the height and click again. But I can still come back in here and set these to whatever value I want. So I'll make this height 0.75. And again, I'm creating a solid. Well, OK this. Now, something to keep in mind here is these are two individual solid models. You'll see when I pick the block, that's one model. I'll hit Escape. And now I'll pick the cylinder and that is another solid model. And I'll hit Escape again. So if we come over here to our Solids Manager, we can see those two solids right here. And I can expand these, and we can see that one is a block and one is a cylinder. Now, people will say, you know, Mastercam has drawing tools and solid modeling, but it's not parametric. And that's true, it's not parametric. But using these primitives, you still have a lot of control. I can still come in here click on this block and change some of these parameters if I wanted to. I could say I want this block to be one inch thick, OK that, and regenerate. Click on my cylinder and I could say I want this radius to be 1.25. OK that and regenerate. So you still have quite a bit of flexibility with these primitives. Now in this case, because they're two separate items, you might want to join them together to be one model. And to do that, you would go to Solids and use something called a Boolean function. Now with a Boolean function, it asks you to select the target. Which block are we doing this to? And I'm going to say, this is the main block. Now it says, which block is going to be the tool body? And I'll pick this cylinder. And we'll OK that. Now we get a choice of what we want to do. I can add these together. I can remove one from the other. Or I can find the common area in between. And in this case, there is no common area. Most likely with this combination, I would want to add these two together to create one single body. So let's OK that. Now in my tree, you'll see there is one solid. Inside that solid is the block and a Boolean add that adds the cylinder. So this is the history of how this solid model was constructed. Also, if I come over here and click on the block, you'll see it all lights up together, showing you that 
that is one individual solid item. So that's a little bit about primitives and how they work. Again, you have cylinders, cones, blocks, spheres, and a torus. A torus is simply a donut shape. These are extremely handy for doing quick construction of very basic shapes or for constructing parts that are made up of those basic shapes.